It's game three of the Belching Beaver baseball series. We're still looking for our first win of the spring season. We're playing the Grizzlies. They're a tough team. I believe they made it to the championship game last year, but today that doesn't matter because we have our secret weapon. His name's Dylan, and he completely takes over this game. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss this. Let's play ball. Ryan leads it off for us in the top of the first. I'm still trying to get the camera ready, but he takes it opposite field for a little base knock. But then the Grizzlies immediately turn a double play on this ball hit up the middle by Ted. It's really a textbook double play ball, and they make the play. Mike comes up in the three spot, and he hits a nice base knock go, to the left side. Dylan's batting cleanup for us today. He gets a little under this ball and pops it up to center field for the third out of the inning. But this is the last time the Grizzlies pitcher is going to get the best of Dylan. Kyle's on the bump for us. This is his first appearance in the video series. The first batter he faces gets a base knock into left field, and then he steals second to get into scoring position. The next batter slaps the ball into right field. That's going to drop for a base hit, and it's going to score the first runner of this game. It's now one to zero, the Grizzlies lead. Kyle plunks the next batter in the shoulder, and then after two more steals, the Grizzlies have runners on second and third with nobody out. Number eight gets a hold of one, and he drives it into left field over Ted's head. It's going to one-hop the fence. That's going to be a stand-up double, and it's going to score two runs easily. That makes it three to zero, Grizzlies, and we have nobody out in the first. But Kyle bears down and strikes out the next batter to get the first out of the inning and the game for us. And then he gets the next batter to pop up to right field. There's now two outs, and Mike quickly gets the ball in to keep the runner at second base. The Grizzlies pitcher comes up to bat, and he helps his own cause with a base knock into left field, but the runner's going to stay at third. After yet another steal, the Grizzlies have runners on second and third. Kyle spikes this next fastball and it gets by Robbie. That lets the Grizzlies score one more run this inning, making it four to zero. Tough start to this game, but Kyle gets us out of the inning with a strikeout. Finally, it's time for the Beavers to go hit in the second inning. I didn't get it on video, but Derek got on base to start the inning. And then Corey hits it to the shortstop. He bobbles it a bit, but gets the lead runner. Kyle's looking for some payback and he gets a single on a ground ball that gets through the infield. Robbie comes up next, but he hits a ground ball into another double play. It's deja vu all over again. We end the second inning the same way we ended the first. The Grizzlies are back to the top of their lineup. They start off the second with an infield single. The next batter comes up and hits a little bloop shot up the middle for another single. They're not hitting as hard, but they're finding gaps. Kyle hits the Grizzlies number three batter again, but this time it's to load the bases with nobody out. But Kyle's going to battle out of this one. He strikes out the next two batters swinging. Then he gets an easy ground ball to the shortstop. For the final out of the inning, Kyle gets us out of the bases loaded jam with no harm done. But it's still 4-0. to zero. It's time for the Beavers to score some runs. David pops it up to the shortstop. Can of corn, right? No, the shortstop drops it, and that's exactly the type of break we needed. It's my turn to hit, but first, David's going to try to steal second. The ball beats him there, but he gets under the tag with a great headfirst slide. Unfortunately, I strike out on this off-speed pitch. That's the first out of the top of the third inning. Jake the Snake rips a liner to left field, but no RBI. David has to hold up at third base. Jalen takes the walk to load up the bases. The Beavers are back to the top of our lineup. Ryan hits a shallow pop fly. The right fielder camps under it, but he completely misjudges it. The ball goes over his head and everybody's gonna be safe. We got our first run of the game and the bases are still loaded. Ted hits a hard grounder and it eats up the third baseman. It gets by him. Jake's gonna score easily and Jalen's coming in hard. He's hustling. He's gonna score standing up. We're only down by one run. We're right back in this game. Mike's looking to do more damage. He hits the ball hard, but the left fielder comes charging in and he makes the running catch for the second out. Dylan's seen enough. He gets a chest high meatball and absolutely crushes it. 350 feet over the right field fence. That was a bomb. It's a three run shot. It gives the Beavers our first lead of the game. It's now six to four. The Grizzlies made some errors in the field and Dylan made them pay. The Beavers are waiting at home to celebrate with Dylan, but my favorite part is the umpire gives him a high five. The Grizzlies pitcher gets out of the inning with a strikeout, but the damage has been done. The Beavers just had a huge inning. Kyle settled in on the bump now. He gets the first batter to ground out to Jake at third. The throw's a little high, but Corey makes a nice grab and gets the out. The next batter draws a walk on a close check swing. 
This guy tries to bunt with two strikes, but he fouls it off for an easy out. The next Grizzly batter hits the ball hard, but Jake makes a great play, stretching out to his left to get the final out of the inning and probably stole a run from the Grizzlies. Corey leads it off in the fourth. He hits the ball on the ground and the shortstop shows some good range to get to this ball, but his throw has no chance. That's an infield single. Kyle strikes out looking for the first out of the inning. Robbie pulls the ball on the ground. The Grizzlies get the force out at second, but there's no chance for a double play. Next up, David turns on a pitch and he gets a little under it, but it's right down the line. So that's gonna fall in for a base hit. And then I take a walk that loads up the bases once again. Jake just made a nice play in the field and he gets a base knock with bases loaded. That's gonna score Robbie. David's coming in, he's gonna score two. For some reason, I decide to half-heartedly go for third here, but it works out, I slide in, and I'm safe. The Beavers now lead eight to four. Jake's feeling saucy, he tries to steal second, but he gets thrown out, that ends the inning. But that's all right, the Beavers are feeling great in the fourth. The Grizzlies lead it off with a hot shot to third. David can't quite handle it, so that'll be a single to start the inning. The runner steals second. Dylan tries a little deep, but it just ends up hitting the runner in the back. Remember that for next time. Kyle gets the next batter to pop it up to center. Derek's tracking it, he camps under it, and he makes the play, no problem. But the runner's tagging up, and he's gonna make it to third easily. Then they hit a ground ball to our shortstop. Ryan's throw to first is low, but Corey makes a nice scoop to save the out, but the runner on third is gonna go ahead and score. The bases are now clear. Number 16 hits the ball to third. David's throw is low and Corey can't make this scoop, but he's hustling to get the ball. Check out this deke by Dylan. He lulls the runner into not sliding and then makes the tag and runs off the field like he stole something. Jalen gets a fresh at bat and he takes advantage with a base knock to get us started in the fifth. Next up, Ryan takes an errant curveball to the hip. Ted hits a chopper to the third baseman. He makes the throw to second for the force out. They try to turn two, but they throw the ball away, so Ted's safe. Jalen's quick, so he's gonna score easily, making it nine to five. Mike hits another chopper to the third baseman. They could get out of the inning with a double play, but he throws it into the outfield. Ted's going to be safe and he's going to advance to third, no problem. Errors by the Grizzlies allow Dylan to come up again with runners in scoring position, and they're going to regret it. Dylan crushes this ball. It's an absolute no-doubter. He pimps the home run. He watches it go over the fence. And can you blame him? He took the same pitcher deep for the second time in the same game. That is yet another three-run blast for Dylan. Dylan has completely taken over this game. That is his sixth RBI of the game. And believe it or not, he's not even finished yet. Derek comes up and he takes the ball oppo. That ball's slicing towards the line and it's gonna fall in for a base knock. But then Derek gets on his horse. He's looking for second and he's gonna get there with a stand-up double. Corey gets himself a base knock and he moves Derek to third. Kyle hits the ball on the ground and the shortstop makes a nice play to field it in the hole. But this throw feels like a hope and a prayer. It goes sailing into the outfield. Derek's gonna score easily and Corey moves up to third base. David comes up next and pops it up to center field for the second out. Corey thinks about tagging up, but he decides not to push it with our big lead. He stays at third. And unfortunately, I helped the Grizzlies get out of the inning with a weak pop fly to the second baseman. But that's okay because the Beavers are up by seven runs. But the Grizzlies aren't going to give up. In the bottom of the fifth, they get runners on first and second, but Kyle gets a clutch strikeout. The next batter squares up to bunt, but then he pulls back and slashes it to third. Jake can't quite make the play. The ball skips away into the outfield, so the Grizzlies runner hustles home and he's gonna be able to score a much needed run. Kyle gets the second out of the inning on a pop-up to second base. Dylan camps under it and makes the catch. After a stolen base by the Grizzlies, the batter, number eight, hits a gapper to right center. That's gonna be a double and it scores two more runs for the Grizzlies. Uh-oh, the Grizzlies are trying to make a comeback on us. This next play is pure shenanigans. Kyle tries to pick off the runner at second. Dylan can't quite get there, so the ball goes into the outfield. Derek gets it back in, and the runner's thinking about going home, so Dylan tries to make a play, but he throws it away. But Jake goes after it, the runner's coming home. Mike gets the toss, and he makes the tag. He's out, and the Grizzlies are not happy about it. They're giving the umpire an earful. 
even in slow-mo, it's honestly too close for me to even make a call. So let me know what you think in the comments. Was he out or safe? The Grizzlies have a new pitcher on the bump in the sixth. There's two outs and we have two runners on. Mike's up. He pulls it for a base knock into left field. Jake's hustling around third and he's gonna score standing up. Dylan comes up and he doesn't hit a home run this time, but he does get a base knock and it's gonna score another run. That is Dylan's seventh RBI of the game. Derek hits it back up the middle, but the center fielder's playing shallow and he's able to make the play to get the Grizzlies out of the inning. The Grizzlies get a runner on third with two outs in the bottom of the sixth. The batter hits a little dribbler to third base. Jake is charging, he rears back and he makes the throw and Corey makes the catch with some nice footwork to get us out of the inning. Let's move on to the bottom of the seventh. The Beavers have a big lead and Jalen's on the bump now. He gets the first out on a ground ball to the shortstop and Corey makes another nice pick at first base. But then Jalen walks the next three batters to load up the bases. The Beavers are feeling a little bit of pressure now and so we're going back to the bullpen. Corey's coming in to pitch for us. He's gonna try to get us out of this tough situation. Unfortunately, he walks the next batter and so the Grizzlies get a free run. The next Grizzlies batter takes Corey's pitch right back up the middle. That's gonna score two more runs, cutting the Beavers lead to just four. The Grizzlies still have two runners on with only one out. The batter hits another shot up the middle. Jalen's coming in from center and he dives and makes the catch. That saves a run and it gives us our second out. But baseball's a cruel game and the ball has a way of finding you. Jalen's chasing down another pop fly in center. This catch could end the inning, but Jalen misplays it and that's gonna allow another Grizzlies run to score. That's their fourth run of the inning. The next batter tries a full swing bunt. Ryan's charging, this is gonna be a tough play. He grabs it with his bare hand, makes the throw, and barely gets the out. That was a big play to get us out of the inning. It's now the top of the eighth, and this game has gotten way too close for comfort. We're looking to score some insurance runs, and the Grizzlies defense helps us out with that. They blow another double play opportunity, allowing a runner to score and moving Ted to third. Dylan comes up again, and he yanks one to right field. Could this be his third home run of the game? Not quite, but he does get a double and makes the right fielder look silly in the process. That's Dylan's eighth RBI. I think it's safe to give him the MVP award for today. The Grizzlies pitcher gets out of the inning with a couple strikeouts, but not before Corey hits a base knock to get another RBI. The throw's coming home and Corey thinks he can take second, but he ends up getting thrown out. So let's move on to the bottom of the eighth. This is the Grizzlies' last chance to score because our league has a three hour time limit. Dylan's done everything else this game, so why not come in and close it out on the mound? And he gets the job done. We get three quick outs and that's the ball game. Beavers win 18 to 12. We finally got our first W of the Belching Beaver Baseball Series. It's a heck of a baseball score. It took me forever to edit. So please leave a comment, drop a like, share it with your friends and family. All of that helps. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.